My name is Daniela Ailincai and I am a scientific researcher at Petroponi Institute of Macromolecular Chemistry in Iași, Romania. And today I'm very happy to share with you some of our results on immunochitis and hydrogels, promising materials for candida infections treatment. Uh, here is a brief intro. Uh, here is a brief uh, overview of my presentation. I will start with a brief introduction, and after that, I will present the experimental part with a synthesis and characterization of our systems. Uh, kytosan based hydrogels are versatile materials with properties which recommend them for being used in many and diverse fields, uh, such as agriculture, wastewater treatment, or diapers industry. Moreover, because of Kytosan's biological properties, such as biodegradability, non-toxicity, biocompatibility, and many, many others, uh, Kytosan-based hydrogels represent an interesting class of materials with high potential of being used in bio-related applications. Uh, in order to be so, the cross-linking agents, which are usually used to cross-link and to hydrogelate Kytosan, must be also biocompatible. Uh, in this context, in our group, was developed a new concept of uh, obtaining hydrogels based on chitosan and biologically friendly monoaldehydes. This uh, is possible due to the fact that the used monoaldehydes are able to form with chitosan dynamic polyimines, which due to the immunization and transimination reactions, are, and more than this, due to the hydrophilic hydrophobic segregation, are able to self-assemble into three-dimensional polymeric networks able to absorb large amounts of water, which are actually hydrogels. Today, I will present you a particular case which comes to strengthen this approach, the obtaining of hydrogels based on chitosan and 2 formula phenylboronic acid, a monoaldehyde known in the literature for its high antifungal activity. Therefore, different hydrogels were obtained by varying the molar ratio between the amine group of chitosan and the aldehyde group of 2 formula phenylboronic acid. In order to characterize these hydrogels in terms of morphology and supramolecular architecture, the hydrogels were also leophilized, uh, leading to the corresponding serogels. Moreover, because NMR spectroscopy revealed the increase in time of the immune linkage density, reaching a maximum in seven days, hydrogels which were kept seven days before lyophilization were also uh, obtained and characterized. To confirm the synthetic pathway and to try to understand better the gelation process, a model compound has been synthesized by reacting 2 formula phenylboronic acid with D-glucosamine, which is actually the structural unit of chitosan. Uh, the IR spectra of the hydrogels and of the model compound showed significant change of their shape in comparison with chitosan, revealing the formation of um, the imine linkage by the appearing in the IR spectra of an intense absorption band at 1,624 centimeters to minus one, which corresponds to the group stretching vibrations of the newly formed imine. And also FTIR reveals some supramolecular rearrangements in the system. Very interesting was the fact that the maximum, which is attributed uh, to the inframolecular hydrogen bonds in the chitosan spectrum is shifted in the spectra of the xerogels to uh, higher wave numbers, indicating the formation of new inframolecular hydrogen bonds. If we take a look at the new immunoboronate unit which formed between chitosan and the aldehyde, this can be explained uh, by the intramolecular hydrogen bond which can form between the hydrogen from the boric acid residue and the electron-rich nitrogen uh, involved in the imine linkage. In this context, a stabilization of the newly formed imine by this intramolecular hydrogen bond can be foreseen. NMR spectroscopy was used as a complementary method to characterize the hydrogels from the uh, structural point of view. First, I have to mention that NMR spectra were recorded in the ethereum oxide, and that is why in all the spectra, also in the spectra of the hydrogels and in the spectra of the model, uh, spectrum of the model compound, appeared the chemical shift corresponding to the unreacted aldehyde, because of the fact that, as we all know, the acid condensation between uh, aldehyde Hides and the mines uh, is a reversible reaction in the presence of water. In the spectra, spectrum of the model compound, 
two chemical shifts appeared, a less intense one at 8.7 ppm and the second uh, one, which is more intense at 8.6 ppm, which corresponds to the imine proton in syn and anti-conformation. Very interesting in the spectra of the hydrogels, the intensity of the signal switched, the first one becoming more intense, while the second one almost disappeared, indicating the predominant presence of uh, one imine conformation, very likely the one which is stabilized by the intramolecular hydrogen bond which formed and which I mentioned uh, before. The supramolecular characterization of our systems was done by wide angle X-ray diffraction. Of course, we recorded also the diffractogram of uh, Kaitosan and used as reference. As you can observe, Kaitosan diffractogram presented a broadband between 5 and 30 to theta degrees with two maxima at 12 uh, and uh, 21 while the xerogels diffractograms presented three diffraction peaks suggesting the supramolecular layered architecture as represented on the right side of the slide. The morphological characterization of the xerogels was done by scanning electron microscopy. As you can observe, as expected, all the xerogels presented a highly porous morphology with micrometric pores and quite thin walls. Uh, very interesting if we compare the morphology of the hydrogels which were obtained and lyophilized with the one of the hydrogels which were kept seven days before lyophilization, a more homogeneous microstructure was observed in the second case with uh, better defined pores and very interesting and important for the future application of these hydrogels, pores which are characterized by a narrow dimensional pore dispersity as could be observed from the standard deviation values. The viscoelastic behavior of the hydrogels was evaluated by biological measurements at human body temperature, 37 Celsius degrees, and it revealed the fact that hydrogels can form between chitosan and the used aldehyde to form phenylboronic acid up to a molar ratio equal to 3.75 to 1, while for the last sample, the one obtained using a molar ratio between uh, reagent functionalities equal to 4, a liquid-like behavior was obtained, data which are in agreement with the visual monitoring of our samples. The antifungal activity of the obtained hydrogels was evaluated on two candida strains, candida glabrata and candida albicans, on both planktonic yeast and biofilm. Uh, for comparison, the measurements were carried out also for hydrogels components of similar concentration as they are in, uh, in the hydrogels, the chitosan solution and uh, 2 formula phenylboronic acid uh, solution. As you can observe, chitosan presented um, a very weak inhibition effect. It actually doesn't kill the candida strain, it just uh, slows down the fungi growing in comparison with the control sample, while the free aldehyde killed the candida yeast very, very fast. A similar trend was obtained also in the case of the hydrogel, but with a slower killing rate, revealing the fact that due to the presence of the reversible imine linkages in the hydrogel structure, and more than this, due to the stabilization of this imine linkage by the intramolecular hydrogen bond, which I mentioned before, the hydrogel is able to release in a sustained manner uh, the antifungal aldehyde in the microbiological uh, medium. Very good results were obtained also on candida albicans and glabrata biofilms. You can observe that the hydrogel was able to reduce the metabolic activity of the biofilm with more than 99% in comparison with only 7% uh, obtained in the case of the chitosan solution used as, uh, as reference. Uh, of course, aiming biomedical applications for these hydrogels, we evaluated also their cytotoxicity by uh, measuring the viability of the fibroblasts in the presence of hydrogels for different uh, concentration of 2 formula phenylboronic acid. And uh, quite good results were obtained, uh, meaning that uh, at concentration of aldehyde lower than 0.142%, the hydrogels are biologically friendly and the cell viability remained at more than 80%. Uh, percent.
In conclusion, we successfully obtained new hydrogels based on chitosan and two formula phenylboronic acid by the acid condensation reaction of the amino group of chitosan with the aldehyde group of uh, the, the aldehyde. All the hydrogels presented a highly porous morphology uh, with, uh, with uh, quite uh, uniform uh, pores and characterized by narrow dimensional polydispersity. Uh, all the hydrogels presented biocompatibility as uh, demonstrated by the MTSSA and maybe the most important achievement of our study was the fact that due to the presence of the reversible immune linkages in the hydrogel structure and due, due to the stabilization of this immune linkage by the intramolecular hydrogen bond which formed uh, the hydrogel was able to release in a sustained manner the antifungal aldehyde in the microbiological culture. The hydrogel is presenting high antifungal activity against candida, uh, two candida strains, uh, against uh, candida yeast and biofilm. Uh, and all these data show that these hydrogels are promising materials for the treatment of candida infections. Thank you very much for your attention.